Hey, get your hands off him. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, relax there, stud. I'm not here to hurt anyone. Well, I guess I should, but I just can't. He's so innocent looking after all. Who the hell are you? And what the fuck are you doing in the middle of the road? The name is Gabriel. It's nice to finally meet you, Jack. I've been following your work for a while now, and I have to say, I'm really impressed. You work for the Bureau or the agency? No, 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 you silly man. Let's just say I work for the real Big Brother, the man upstairs. You know, the true keeper of the law. Get your hands up and step away from the boy. Ha! <laughs> you boys with your silly guns. I was going to kill you both, but there was something in his eyes. I saw a glimmer of hope there. Don't worry. We will meet again soon. You alright? You feel strange or anything? Yeah, it looks like there's some new players. We really need to keep our head in the game. I think the town is behind these trees here. Someone's gonna find this bus soon, and we should try to avoid any suspicion. Uh, speaking of suspicion, we really should take a step back with the killing. Uh, we need to keep a lower profile while we're trying to figure out a way to open these seals. Now, I've been reading on the subject a lot lately, and I think I got an idea about how we should go about this. I'll show you some of the literature once we get to my apartment. Hmm. I think we can get across around there. You can do this jump, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. If we can climb this, we should see the path again.
Ah, shit. I think we need a little help here, son. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can use the tree over there to climb over. Are you able to bring that down? I've seen you use those abilities before. Let's find a way to make this happen without bringing total chaos just yet. was interesting to say the least. Come on, son. Sweet home. Let's take the path down there.
I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Jack! Is that you, Jack? Hey, I didn't know if you were coming or not. You could have used the front door, you know. But I'm glad you're here. And who's this little guy? You remember the senator's kid, right? Wagner's son, Lucius? Oh, yeah, right. How could I forget? Last year was pretty rough on us all. I can only imagine what you must be going through. Yeah, he doesn't speak much. I just picked him up from Benedict's. 
I think it's good to keep him near his home while we look for a better place for him. So this is the kid? Sole survivor of the Dante fire. How's he doing? Did the doctors tell you it's okay to take him already? Lieutenant? They told me to take him to a more familiar environment. His mental health seems fine. It's just that he's going to take some time to recover from something like this. I talked to child services and they're going to look for a place to put him in. In the meantime, I think we should try and make him feel as comfortable as possible. Don't you agree? I do. Did you talk to Dr. Young? Maybe I should contact him for some consultation on the situation. No need to for that. I talked to him and I think I have everything under control. Besides, he's currently on vacation. I think he said something about taking a trip to the Pink Islands. Oh, must be the Caribbean trip he was always talking about. Well then, let's just make him feel comfortable, shall we? You know, I have an idea. You know what you could do, Lucius? You could take this camera and be our cameraman for the party. Just wander around and take pictures of everyone having a good time. That sounds like a great idea. It's a great way to meet everyone here. Go right ahead, son. Let me know if you have any problems. Death kid. What a travesty that was. A boy that age and a father like that. I would have known that a senator can even be that mentally ill. Never in a million years would I have guessed that he could be capable of something like this. I'd been his doctor for years, but I guess there's a lot of pressure in a politician's life and only a little room to show it. It just boggles my mind. How could he end up killing his wife and then burning down his own house? It's a good thing we have a big-time lawyer like you here to help with this. Good evening, Lucius. We meet again. You've met him before. Oh, well, yes. Charles and I go way back. Oh, really? Are you sure your personal relationship is not interfering with the case, son? Oh, quite sure, sir. Our relationship was always strictly business. And I assure you, there are no conflict of interest. I'll have to look into that. Come on now, Jackson. We're not at work. He's up on it. Come now, gentlemen. Let the boy snap his pictures. Oh, right. Yeah. Go right ahead. And if you ever come by the town hall, be sure to give me a visit. I'm sure I have some chocolate there or something. Looking at your belly, I'm thinking they might be all gone. <laughs> Shoot, I know you do it. I know you do. Come on, you can tell me. Sneak a peek? I would. All them fine ladies sleeping there? <laughs> yeah. Really, sir? Re really, sir? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I I really must be going back to the motel. There might be customers coming and my, my mother gets worried. How is your mother, Banner? I haven't seen her in a while. I should come and pay a visit. Maybe bring the kid with me. She's fine, sir. We're, we're all fine. I, I mean, why would you come? I mean, I mean, she... Come as you may, but she gets ill sometimes. I mean, she has been ill lately, so... She probably won't be able to see any visitors. Huh? But, but, but I'll make sure to let her know. Uh, sometimes she gets upset. You know, I... I try to keep the schedule, but, but sometimes she just gets upset. Oh, hello there. Well, you're welcome to visit, of course. I, I mean, I work a lot, but, but I always have time to meet new friends. I, I always wanted a little brother, but she never listened. Who do we have here? Okay. I always wanted a little brother. Are you feeling all right, boy?
<laughs> That's what you get, you drunk bastard. Hey, what the hell, kid? What are you trying to do here? Give me a heart attack? Get lost, will you? Scram. Don't mind that miserable man. Take all the pictures you want. Not everyone here is as grumpy as that fool. Ain't that right, Seeper? Get off me, old fart. You can't even sail correctly. Is, is that an SGX-72 LAN camera? Where, where did you get that? I have the exact same one. It takes only 10 seconds to develop the picture. It's part of my secret project. Come on, take a picture of this young devil here. No one knows what the hell he's building, but he just keeps on building. Come see me at the docks when you have the time. I'll take you for a spin. If you see any stuff that you don't need, bring it to me. What's the matter, son? Yeah. Who do we have here? I have to say something here doesn't really add up. I'll be here all day. Well, hello. Oh, hello there. What you got there, kid? Death, kid! No, Derek! Stop that! You're hurting him! No! What's the matter, sis? Are you scared? Scared of a little birdie? No, Derek! You're killing him! Don't kill him! Who are you? It's the kid from the mansion! The rich mute! His parents are dead! His parents are dead! And he killed them! He killed them dead! He did not! They died in a fire, Dave! I heard that his dad killed his mom with a nail gun! <laughs> Is that true? You're right, mute and crazy. What is he gonna do, tell on us? You're full of crap. I'm not scared. It's not your fault, man. Hello. Well, hello. You're full of crap! I'll be here all day. I'm not scared. If you see any stuff that you don't need, bring it to me. Just like your father. Do you like swimming?
What's the matter, son? Hello. How are you, son? Taking those pictures won't save you, son. We all know what's coming. Don't we? Oh, Lord, yes, we do. Such a sweet, innocent child like you will not be saved without Jesus on your back. The devil is among us, and can taint the minds of these innocent children. We must ask the Lord to save him. Okay, okay. Ain't that enough for one night? Leave the poor kid alone. All you need to know, son, is that you are always welcome to our house. The Lord does not discriminate. Jesus accepts all sinners and forgives them all. Whenever you feel like it, day or night, just visit the parish. It's the great big house on the beach. We'll be there waiting for you. Maybe it's time for us to go. It's getting kind of late, especially for the kids. Oh, so soon? Well, I guess you're right. Come by the office anytime and bring the kid for a checkup. I would love to see him. Thanks, Doc. We'll see you later. Well, this is it. Make yourself at home. You can sleep there on the right. My bedroom's over here on the left. There's some clothes in the wardrobe that might fit you, and I think there should be some milk or something in the fridge. Let's find a way to make this happen without bringing total chaos just yet. So, yeah, I had a chance to look into this a bit while you were out there doing your thing. And what I gathered was that these seals open up after certain events have happened. There seems to be sort of a continuing theme with these prophecies. It's like with the trumpets. I think we need to create some sort of figurative events that somehow conform with the events of the Bible. Like, look here. I think what we're looking for here is some sort of ruler, or a guy who's about to conquer something, a place. There's not a lot of people here who fit that description. And then there's also this bow hunting thing. We need to look for some evidence about that. Once we're 100% sure who our guy is, 
We make sure no one is looking for him after he's gone. So tomorrow morning, I think we should give everyone a visit. I still have to work and we need to try and keep up appearances. You never know if those become useful visits for our cause. I wonder how we're going to make these four guys into the horsemen. Yeah, we need to be crafty on this one. Hmm. Oh, hi. You're up. I was just about to wake you up. How'd you sleep? Any trips to the underworld? So, I've made some breakfast here. Hope you like scrambled eggs. I think you should eat and then change into something more appropriate. We should get going if we want to crack this. Come on, let's go. Follow me.
Let me know if you have any problems. It's the Freeman's house. They're our closest neighbors. I think it's important we keep good rapport with them. They're the kind of people who like to gossip and love to snoop around other people's business. On top of that, they're terribly religious. It's better we visit them than have them constantly visit us. So just keep close attention of everything and learn as much as you can. Come on in, Detective. I saw you guys coming from a mile away. I'm cooking at the moment, but it's good you brought the little one for a visit. I'm sure I'll get along with my boys just fine. You want anything? Coffee? Tea? Beer, maybe? No, ma'am, I'm good. Just wanted to say hi and bring the boy over for a quick visit. We have to be leaving soon anyway. Oh, that's too bad. Well, make yourself at home. I think Gary's at his office, working on something. Why don't you look around and I'll have a word with the missus. Look, it's the Death Kid! Ooh, watch out, he might just try to kill you. If he tries anything, I can use my rifle. What? Do you think he would die if you shot him with a pellet? You're full of crap! Probably the boys forgot it here. They should really learn to pick up after themselves. Well, hello. Who do we have here? I was just writing a letter here. Work thing, you know. How are you, son? You look... How can I say this? Hmm. Delicate? Yes. How are my boys treating you? If they get aggressive, just let me know. I'll take care of it. We're planning to add a pool to the house. I would love to see you swimming in it someday. Do you like swimming?
Good morning, Detective. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Green. As you can see, I have this small guy here who's eager to continue his studies. I know he's used to being homeschooled, but unfortunately that's not really an option anymore. I'm sure we can fit him in. It's not like the town's filled with kids. We'll be just fine, won't we, Lucius? Yeah, one more thing. He doesn't really speak much. Heh. <laughs> well, we have enough noise as it is. Some silence would do us all good. Sure. Is it okay if he looks around a little bit? Of course. I'll be here all day. I was thinking if we could start next week. Get him a chance to relax, you know, familiarize himself with the new house and all. Yes, of course. We actually have a Halloween vacation this year. We thought the kids would enjoy some free time to get their costumes ready. Well, that fits perfectly then. Thanks, Amanda. I'll see you later. I think we should first determine your progress before choosing a path for you. Oh, hi there. Is there something I can help you with?
Yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking too. This could be the place we're looking for. Let's go and check it out. Looks like the mayor's going for your dad's old job. Well, Charles's old job. Well, it says he's gonna be in Little Rock this evening. That's 30 miles away, and I hope we didn't miss him. Doesn't seem like there's anyone coming. Let's check out and see if the mayor's even here. When we go in there, I want you to keep an eye out for clues, all right? We're looking for a guy who fits the description of the first horseman. Now this guy has to be the closest thing we have to a king around here. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to handle this whole bow and arrow thing. Hello? Are we interrupting? Oh no, Dr. Green here was just leaving. Hello, Jack. Lucius. Yes. So, John, I'll be back later in the evening. Shall we say six o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. See you then. Come on in, Jack. It's nice to see you again. Well, well. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, I was still going through the case of Charles Wagner. Maybe bringing the kid here and talking about the case isn't such a good idea, Detective. Yeah, how inconsiderate of me. How are you? Everything okay? I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yes, I know. We all do. Charles was a good friend of mine and will be sorely missed. I just can't wrap my head around him doing anything like this. With all due respect, sir, I think aiming for his jaw right after he died is something a friend would probably not do. Someone has to continue the work he was doing. It's important for all of us, and quite frankly, I think you are stepping out of line here, Detective. Maybe I am. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'll be getting out of your way now, sir. Is it okay if I leave the kid here for a second? I have some errands to do, and I think you'd find the whole building quite interesting. You don't have to watch him or anything. He'll find his way back to my apartment on his own. You sure about that, detective? You can do that, right? Yeah, he's okay with it. Don't worry. Okay, fine. J just for a few minutes, then. Thank you, sir. Serves you right, cunt. You feeling all right, boy? What's the matter, son?
Oh, hello, son. Got that in the state finals, 65. I hunt with the bow, too. It's one of the most exhilarating things a man can do. You will learn that one day, son. We used to go hunting with... What's this? Oh, shit. I need to call him. Hi, Lewis. It's John. Yeah, about the appointment we had today. Listen, I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to avoid the full physical. It's just that I'm actually starting the campaign trail today. Yeah, I need to be in Little Rock by six, so I can't really be doing a physical with you, can I? Yeah. No, I won't be able to do it for a while. I'll be gone for the whole month. We'll have to reschedule when I get back. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll let you know when I get back. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks. I don't have to do that anymore. You're my own personal savior. Oh, hello, son. Charles was a good friend of mine and will be sorely missed. Hmm, that's strange. The reception's totally empty. Sir, are you there? Detective! Speak of the devil! And Lucius, how lovely. What are you doing here? 
don't worry, I haven't revealed your little secret. And who would even believe me? I'm actually hoping you might end up changing your plans. Jack, come on in. Ta-ta! Lieutenant? Good morning, Detective. I see you're still dragging the kid along. You planning on keeping it? I think he should join the classes so he doesn't fall behind. And I also think it would be good for him to stay with me for a while. Don't take this the wrong way, but you do know that keeping him around is not going to bring your son back. I know, I know. I got this under control. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what was this guy doing here? And why is the desk downstairs empty? Oh, Gabriel. We were just talking about you and your situation. He's handling the case, and we're just all looking out for the kid here. The desk is empty because Kathy left. Like most people, she was affected quite a bit by the Wagner case. She couldn't stay anymore because of the memories that kept surfacing. Anything else? No, I'm good. Then go and do your job. We still have a lot of loose ends here, and state troopers just notify that there's an APB on a girl that could be coming through here. I want you to check the motel for her. Her name is... Paula Lambert. Tall, blonde, attractive. Stole 40000 from her boss. I'll look into it. Come on, son.
That's interesting. That must have cost a fortune. Yeah, they're not that expensive. The funny thing is, though, that the damn thing keeps triggering almost every time he's cooking. And sometimes he has to run to his house because he left the stove on. That doesn't sound like a person who's responsible enough to be a mayor, let alone a senator. I know. But it's a good thing he has the alarm. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have burned the place down many times. Probably my livelihood with it. Oh, right. Your reception. But aren't you across the street from him? Well, I guess it's kind of unlikely that my house would catch fire from his. But it's annoying, to say the least. Well, hello there. What can I get you, honey? He doesn't really speak, Cheryl. He doesn't? That's strange. Is there something wrong with him? No, there's nothing physically preventing him from talking. I think it's mainly trauma-induced. But it's hard to say. He's been like this for a while. That's sad. Chicken noodles! Thanks, Cheryl. Don't thank me. Thank my father. Thanks, Mr. Williams. You're welcome, sir. Move! Out of the way! I'm walking here. Watch it, kid. Where's the fire? A, f a fire? That's all I need. A fire at my secret project headquarters. Did he actually pay for those? I feel bad for him. I give him food from time to time so he doesn't starve to death. As a mother, I would hope others would do the same to my son if he ever ends up like him. Hope to God not. You're too good for this world, Nancy. What can I do for you guys, Detective? Can you give me a pack of blue lights over there? Yeah, thanks. I'm just showing the kid around. I still have to work, of course, but we're just on a tour of the town here. Isn't he from here? Well, yeah, but you know how they were. I don't think the boy's ever been outside the mansion before. Oh, that's sad. Well, you're always welcome to visit us at the house, Lucius. I'm sure he's very grateful for your hospitality.
my purse. You found my purse. Where did you find this? Thank God, now I don't have to get a new license. Here, let me give you a reward for finding it. Wait a minute, do they already? <laughs> Hello, detective. It's nice to see you again, detective. I have to say that I didn't expect to see you here. You're the new owner? What the hell are you doing here? What do you want? Well, you know the official story. Unofficially, I'm just here to see this thing through. Maybe I have a small ulterior motive to make you guys think again about your whole quest here. But other than that, I promise. I'm not here to really interfere. The boss mostly likes people to make up their own mind and not forcing on stuff. That whole free will thing, you know. I think we're doing just fine without your observations, thank you very much. Come on, son. It's all just so pointless. This is not going to end up like you think. Jack's been through a lot, and Lucifer loves to feed on troubled souls like him. Okay, son. You should go with him. 
I see that you are not ready yet to accept Jesus as your friend. It remains to be seen if you ever will be. What do you got going on there, Larry? Detective! Hello there. The engine fell apart on me. Sorry about that, Lucius. Can't take your fishing before I get a new oil filter. Well, that's all right. We're keeping busy anyway. Busy? I'm busy, you're busy, we're all busy. But the boy needs to learn how to live from the land. He needs to learn how to fish like a real winter hill man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, let's see when you get that boat running again. Oh, I'll get it fixed. I already told Bruce to order some new ones. Okay, man. Talk to you later.
I'm drawing Leopons. It's my favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? I bet it's the Liger. Ooh, oh, or, or maybe it's the Zebroid? Once my secret project is done, no one will ever doubt their existence. I still need some stuff for it. If you see any stuff that you don't need, bring it to me. It could be useful for my secret project. For instance, here, I need a certain type of processor that is very hard to come by. They use them in the new Magna Journey Entertainment System. I'm not sure if anyone here has one. Maybe someone who's really rich and powerful. Can't talk right now. Daddy's angry again. Derek threw away his drink. You better run, son. Nobody touches my booze. If I ever see you doing that again, I'll beat the shit out of you. It's gonna be a long appointment to the doctor, boy. He probably went to a secret hideout. I wish Mommy would come home soon. Oh, what the hell are you crying about? It looks like we have to put you on another timeout in the backyard. Get your ass over there. No, Daddy. No, not...
not the backyard. God, get out of here. Jesus. What the hell do you want? Ah! What happened with some kid upstairs, huh? Okay? Run along there, little boy. Not on your side that time, was it? If I've learned something from this, <coughs> never send a human to do a machine job. Uh, you here to meet Sister Marie? So, how are we feeling today, Mr. Smith? Uh, it could be better. Anyway, I don't think she's too... That's the local gas station there. Hey, you know, we should say hello to Bruce. He's a good guy. Well, not too good, if that's what you're afraid of. Come on, let's just say hello quickly. Jack! I was beginning to wonder when you were going to show up here. How was the trip? Yeah, it was interesting, to say the least. Oh, looks like you brought something with you. Who's this young man? His name's Lucius. He's the Wagner's kid. Ah, uh, yeah, right, right, I remember. You know, your boss came around here earlier asking about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, what'd you tell him? Well, he asked a little bit about your situation there, and I gave him a sort of, uh... How do you say, uh, not the best answer. What do you mean? What'd you say? Well, he was asking if I think you're still okay, and, you know, if you're still you. So I told him something. What did you say? Well, I think my exact words were, suck my balls. You really said that? <laughs> nah, <laughs> actually, what I said was that in my book you're doing just fine. Yeah, that brick wants me out of the job. You'll be fine, don't worry. He's just a washed up brass that doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, hi.
Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi, I would like to rent a room, please. What do you think? Certainly. How long? What do you mean, how long? How how long will you be staying? Oh, right. I don't, I don't know. Not long. Okay, I'll just put indefinitely. And uh, are you staying by yourself? Yes, it's just me. Okay, I'll just need your signature here. Okay, Miss Sudokan. Maria Sudokan, is it? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Well, that's a lovely name. Okay, thanks. Let me help you with those. No, no thanks. I got it from here. Are you are you sure? It's 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 no problem. It's quite all right. Um, I'll let you know if I need anything. A uh, uh, dinner, maybe. Sorry, what? Tomorrow evening. I would be honored if you would jo join me for d dinner tomorrow evening. Mm, I really shouldn't. Oh, no, it's no problem. My mother cooks the best lasagna in town. You, you must taste it. She would be insulted otherwise. All right. Tomorrow, then. I'll, I'll, I'll bring the wine. But just maybe I'm actually right there. Mr. McGuffin? What Young are? Wagner? What, do you say then? what can I do for you today? Hello, Mr. Mason. Ah, nothing much. We decided to take you up on your offer, though. Your mother around? Uh, she's, she's asleep. N now is not a good, good time, detective. Well, actually, I do have another reason why I'm here today. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. I mean, uh, it's private. I mean, people have their names on it. Yeah, I know. I'm actually looking for someone. What happened with some Anyone come by years, lately? Huh? Okay. Well, I mean, pe people, people there, come and go. Boy. Sometimes they stay, that Some, some sometimes they don't. Time, well, I'm looking for a specific person. <laughs> Tall. Blonde, very attractive woman by the name of Paula Lambert. Uh, no one here by that name. What about the guest in number two? How are we feeling today, Mr. Smith? She does not want to be disturbed at the moment. Maybe later. I'll I'll let you know. Okay, later then. What else you been doing around here? Still with the animals? Is there someone in number one? I don't see a key there. That's that's where that's where I sleep. Oh, you finally moved out, did you? Mother doesn't like noises. 
while she sleeps, and, and, and I like to stay up late. Oh, I see. Hello? Again? Thanks for the heads up. I'll be right there.
Hello, son. What's the matter, son? So I think I might have an idea what we should do. There used to be this small amusement park right next to my house. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've left a few things behind when they went bankrupt. I think we could use some of that for recreating the prophecies. Like for instance, we could use that uh, carousel for the four horsemen. Let's find a way to make this happen without bringing total chaos just yet.
So, I went through these last night. This next seal seems a bit vague. I think it has someone who is provoking people, sort of arming them to fight against their fellow man. He has taken the peace from Earth and a great sword has been given to him. I guess finding a literal sword would be a definitive answer. We've got a lot to do here. The hearing... All rise, the Honorable Judge Jonathan Jackson III. So, gentlemen, we're gathered here today for the public hearing in the case of Morgan versus the state. Mr. Morgan here is seeking compensation for punitive damages in the amount of $600,000. Emotional stress caused by the death of his sister Agnes Morgan has affected his work, and he is no longer able to fulfill his duties as postal employee. Is that correct, Mr. Morgan? Um, that is correct, Your Honor. State's district attorney seems to disagree with you, Mr. Morgan. And we have here in the stand now Lieutenant Kimball from the local law enforcement, whose department was assigned to the case. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. You are not the officer actually assigned to the case, but it is your responsibility to oversee the case. That is correct, sir. Your Honor, I believe everything was handled by book. The officers used the correct procedures on all aspects of the investigation, and no stone was left unturned. Wait, what about the affair? They didn't mention anything about the affair! Come on! What affair is he talking about, Gabriel? During the investigation, Detective McGuffin found out about an affair between two of the maids and one Mr. Tom Wagner. However, this did not seem to have any connection with the actual death of Agnes Morgan. And so leaving that detail out from the report in my assessment would be perfectly fine. You agree with the attorney, Lieutenant? I do, Your Honor. All right. I see that you ended up adding quite a list for evidence in the case. Can you go these over for me? You can see yourself out, Mr. Morgan. You will hear about the official ruling later. Well, there were several items found from each of the crime scenes. We did not manage to find any real connection with them, but it's our suspicion that perhaps Mr. Wagner was orchestrating all of the deaths. Items we found in relation to the deceased and the area they were found in include a padlock that was actually found in one of the maid's rooms. But we now believe that this was actually planted there by someone else. The autopsy of Miss...
I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm, I'm only watching. <gasps> Take that hand out of your pants, young man. If I see you touching yourself one more time, I'm gonna cut that thing off and throw it to the dogs. But, 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 but I swear, Mom, I, I'm not doing anything. I was, I was just watching TV. She will end up like all the others. No! Mom, please, Mom, no, please. There you go. Tuna casserole, a la Williams. Is there anything else I can get you, hon? No, this is quite all right, dear. I'm just really waiting for my boys and their father to come so we can attend today's mass. Sure, hon. Where are they then without their mother? Well, actually, I don't even know. He likes to take them to these trips. You know how men are. They're probably just doing some boy stuff where I'm not invited to. Figures. Men. They'll be at the church when the Mass starts, I'm sure. My husband never misses the Mass.
figured I'd find you here. It has to be all the crosses that are preventing your entrance. We should try to find a way to get rid of them. No, oh. oh, hi. It's you. I can't talk right now. I'm busy building here. Ah, just the right size. Thanks. I'll give you the cutters, but only if you keep looking for the T12C3. Oh, shoot! You got it! The CX145 microprocessor from the Magna Journey. Where did you get that? Can I have it? Well, maybe we can make a trade then. Is there anything you need from here? Oh, the six inch wrench. Hmm, I only have three of those. Is there anything else you can get for that? Fine. I'll trade you the wrench for the processor. Now all I need is the T12C3 and some batteries. Then I'm finally free. <laughs> it is! The T12C3! Where did you get that? You, you know what? As a reward for bringing me this, I'm going to show you what I'm building here. Hmm, you see... I'm trying to create a portal to another dimension. I'm pretty sure that if I create a magnetic field around it and rip a hole in the space-time continuum, this will most likely allow something to pass through space and time to a whole new world or place. It's working! <laughs> now I only have to crank up the power and see the portal forming.
Seems like you've done good. Or at least something. It's starting to rain. You think we should go in? I would think twice about this. You again? Maybe you should mind your own business. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't always have to be this cliched thing about the good versus the bad. There's still a chance for you both. Even the most difficult sins can be repaid. Be careful, Lucius. This guy's got some tricks up his sleeve. This is most likely a ploy. Jack, I understand your pain, Jack. Having your doubts about the Lord, difficulties trusting him again, you will have to understand that sometimes some things cannot be helped. Not everything that happens is his will. You were easily chosen to shepherd this boy. Are you really so blind that you cannot see how it was all decided for you long ago? He does carry the seed of the demon in him, but not all of him is purely evil. There's some things they overlooked about his mother's family. Anyway, you already know there could be a place up there for you. Imagine the irony. Devil's son ends up in heaven. It's not your fault, man. Fuck him. Stay away from that guy. He's just trying to trick us into their games of this biblical... I'm Father Lagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Remember how on the night he was to be betrayed, Jesus ate a special meal with his closest friends. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. Gracious God, pour out thy spirit upon this gathering, this table, this meal, as we eat and drink in fellowship with each other. May we be filled with hope for the future. Amen. This 
is my body, which is given to you. This do in remembrance of me. Gracious God, pour out thy spirit upon the sand of this day, this day. Amen. This is my body, which is given to you. This do in remembrance of me. Gracious God. This is my body, which is given to you. Oh, hi there. This do in remembrance of me. Gracious God, pour out thy spirit upon this gathering of this day. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Gracious God, pour out thy spirit upon this gathering, this table. <laughs> Anything I can do you for? Everything okay? Did you need something? So, the rumors are true. You are a demon of some kind. A demon sent from hell to torture the living. A beat!
save me. How you get them here? Hmm. Seems like it's not working. Maybe we're missing something. This shit's making my skin crawl. And I thought I was ready for this shit, but I guess once you see it with your own eyes, it all becomes much more real. I need a drink. Gentle Jen. I want to eat, Dad. I don't Dad. want to see you eat her. I'm ready, Dad. Be gentle, Jen. 
Jen. I want to eat Dad. I don't want to see you eat her. He should be up by now. You awake? We have a busy day ahead of us. Damn it. Shit. Ugh. Sorry about that. You scared me over there. I guess that might be a common problem for you, huh? Look, I need to head to the office. You're free to come along or just do whatever you feel like doing. However, I think we should figure out what our next objective is as soon as possible. So try and keep that in mind while you wreak havoc around the town.
I have to say something here doesn't really add up. I've tried contacting the hospital, but so far there has been no answer whatsoever. I have these papers saying the boy is staying there until March. And then I have these other papers that you gave me that say quite the opposite. The signatures are totally different, and I can't get any confirmation from the hospital. It's like the whole building has disappeared. So, when exactly did you leave the hospital? I don't quite understand how it took you two days to come here with the boy. Well, I took a small detour to go and see his father's grave. He really hadn't had a chance to see it yet. And where was that again? Ludlow? No, in Arlington. He was qualified for a burial in the National Cemetery there. Oh, right. Did you hear what happened in Ludlow? In Ludlow? No, oh, why would I? They had a major crisis. Bunch of fires and a swarm of locusts. They had to call in the National Guard, and I heard there was a situation of some kind. What do you mean? I'm not sure what happened exactly, but they are suspecting that it was a terrorist attack of some sort. They found poison in the water supply and a bunch of other evidence that points towards something like that. Jesus. They ended up evacuating the whole town, and the word is that one of the buses used for the evacuation is missing. So it could be that the terrorists managed to escape with that and have hostages somewhere. Well, do they have any idea where? Nah. They are still looking for the bus. It's possible that it even came this way. If they don't find it soon, I'm sure they will extend the search here. Be ready to participate soon. Well, we really don't have the manpower to conduct any searches, Lieutenant. I'm sure some of the town folk would gladly help. I'm going to ask the mayor to help us out with it. The mayor? You really think he can get anything done? Yeah, I'm sure he can get us some reinforcements here. I already called the courthouse, but it seems he's scheduled for a camping trip. Once he gets back, I'll ask him. Hello, son. Hello there, Lucius. Okay, I think we're done here. How are you doing with the other case? Which one? The girl. Oh, yeah. There was a girl at the motel, but she didn't quite fit the description. I'm going to check that again just to make sure, after I'm done with some of this paperwork here. Okay, Jack. You do that. No, it's, it's just me and my mother. Just the two of you, huh? Well, and my little friends there. What do you mean? I, I'm a taxidermist. What's that? Well, uh, I take animals and, and I prepare skin, stuff, and mount them. Oh, <laughs> any kind of animals? No, not really. I, I prefer the smaller and more passive kind, you know, birds and rodents. Whoever wants to be my friend. Right, and, and your mother doesn't mind, huh? No, why Why would she mind? No, I I don't know. I mean, I guess she wouldn't. I mean, she does sometimes yell at me about them, but that's, that's just because they haven't been nice to her. Then she tends to take their heads off, but that's, that's just for their own good, she says. She cuts their heads off for their own good? How old is your mother? Well, she's old, but not that old. It's not polite to ask a woman of her age. No, oh, of course not. It's just... You know, sometimes when people get old, they get a little weird. You ever think about putting her into a place where she could be taken care of better? What do you mean? Well, like an insane asylum? Why, why would I do that? No, no, nothing like that. Just a home. You would put my mother in an insane asylum? She is n not insane. She is not. And if she would hear what you're saying, there's, there's no knowing what she would do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything bad by it. You didn't mean anything by it. Words always mean something. Actions mean even more. Why are you carrying so much cash in a briefcase? That's something we should be asking you. Yeah. What? 
Have you been spying on me? Spying? No, I haven't. I haven't done anything that m- Mother wouldn't approve, and Mother does not approve of spying on anyone. Maybe I should go. Thanks for the dinner. I really need to get back to my room. Are, 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 are you sure? I, I, I made dessert and everything. I, are, you, are you sure you wouldn't want to stay a little more? No, no. I really think we should stay away from each other's business from now on. We were just talking about my mother, and I just wanted to say, for the record, that my mother isn't insane. She's perfectly fine. She just gets a little little mad sometimes. When she finds out bad things about people, she gets a little bad herself. It's the blood I don't like. Oh, the blood. It just gets all over. She is not a good girl, Banter. You know what we need to do to whores like her. No, Mother, please. She didn't know what she was saying. She knew. They all knew. Sorry, kid. I'm not allowed to let anyone into her. Oh, what the hell's going on? Another feud? Once I get my money, I'll get an electrician in here to fix these for good.
here to meet you, Mr. Marie. There it is. Uh, how? What? My bottle? Where, where did I? Oh, that boy better not touch my bottle. God help him if he did. Boy, did you take my bottle again? No! Boy, I've told you not to touch my things. They ruined Stop! For many a poor boy. You better call the doctor, Sam. Looks like your brother had another accident. Might need some stitches. Hello, Dr. Green. Yes, it's Samantha Morgan again. We need you to come home and help Derek. He's hurt pretty bad. Uh, you here to meet Sister Marie? So? I'm sorry, hon. I need to go. What is it? Did something happen? Uh, it's the Morgans again. I think James is beating the children. That sounds awful. Look, this might take a while. Why don't you go home and I'll see you later. Lucius, what are you doing here? I would love to play with you, but I'm on a timeout again. I can't get out of here. I know because I've tried. Truth, are you a wizard? Well then, let's play something. What? Ah, uh, you're tricky. Now I'm it.
doing here? You're trespassing! Get the hell out of here! You better leave before I get really angry! If you come any closer, I'm gonna hit you as hard as I can! Crazy. What the hell? What the hell are you?
What's this? Looks like a Latin sentence of some sort. It's too bad we don't have any books that could help us translate this. We should check out if the school has any. I remember your old house having quite a library there. Yeah, it's too bad it burnt down. Oh, hi there. What do we have here? Hmm, that's a sentence on a different language. Maybe Latin? You know what it says? Oh, I see. You probably wanted to translate it for you. Well, honey, I'm sorry, but this school really doesn't have anything that advanced to help us translate it. Your old house used to have a marvelous library filled with books like these. Too bad it burned down. Actually, I can tell you what some of it means. If I remember my Latin lessons correctly, the N means something like, Who are his? Qui sunt yes? Yes, something like that, I think. Sorry, honey, I can't help you more. Have you checked the church? There could be some Latin books there. There's no school today, you know. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember, Remember to make a wish, wish, honey. That's my happy birthday, son. Man, they are all
what you got there, kid. A Latin dictionary, eh? Did you know this book is a bit burnt? Not much you can do with that, lad. You know there is, however, something here that is of actual use. I'm gonna tell you a little story, and I want you to listen very carefully. Once upon a time, there was this bearded man with glasses. He decided to create himself an ant farm. But instead of ants, he had all sorts of things that he made all by himself. He had lions, zebras, bears, and even actual ants. And he made them all by himself for his own amusement. Even after all those creations, he didn't feel like they could hold his interest. They just weren't smart enough to be interesting. So one day, he decided that he is going to make this creature that looks almost like him. This creature had wings, but no gender. He ended up making hundreds of them, and then he decided to give them personalities. They would all be uniquely interesting individuals. And for a while, he was happy with his creation until one of them decided to revolt against him. This guy was called Lucifer. Lucy Boy was so fierce and determined that he managed to gather a great following among his brothers and almost managed to overthrow the guy with glasses. The creation had become so powerful that a weapon had to be made to contain them. He created a small dagger he used this dagger to cut the wings off all those who took their step against him and cast them down to the abyss. Devastated about the whole incident, he sorta of gave up on us and
Sick joke is this. Who the hell are you? You know who I am. You will all be prosecuted for this. Help! Get me you guys! Help! I'm not sure how all of this is going to go down after we get these seals open. As I see it, we are fulfilling the prophecy. And by fulfilling the prophecy, we are going to open something. I guess some sort of portal to hell? To let them in? Or for us to go there?
Oh, hi. Kid!
What's this? Ooh, new stamps? Let me see. We should go to the fort and catalog them in. We'll do that. You know what? You're not so bad after all. You can come too if you want. Let's glue them to the book. Uh, you guys feel like there's something weird about these stamps? Something is definitely strange. Like what? I can't feel my tongue anymore! That's because you've been licking too much of Mrs. Green's ass. <laughs> I would like to lick her ass. Oh, yuck! You would lick someone's ass? You don't lick someone's ass, you ass! I would. That's what they do. No, they don't. You're full of crap. No one is licking anyone's ass. That's disgusting. Wait, what was that? What? I think I heard something. Look! My hand has ten fingers! Where did you get the extra fingers, Bill? I don't know. I just grew them. Guys... I think I hear a monster breathing or something. What? A monster? I don't like monsters. This is not good. Why is the room like this? Shh, it's gonna hear us. I'm not scared. You're full of crap. I'm not scared.
Lucius. You see these girls? These girls have all disappeared in the last six months. Yeah, so? And you know what else these girls have in common? What? All these girls were last reported headed this way. Okay, so you're thinking they might have stopped here. That's exactly what I'm thinking. We've been overlooking these because of the Wagner situation, but there's definitely something going on here. What about this last one? Paula Lambert. Yeah, I don't know. There was a lady at the motel, but she didn't really match the description. Hey, did we get a picture from the state troopers yet? No, not yet. What's with those guys? How do they expect us to find anyone if they can't send one goddamn picture of the woman? Hmm. Sometimes things take a minute or two. Hmm. What's this? What is it? What the... Shit. Where did you get this? It's addressed to Gary Freeman. Ah, oh, hell. He's got three kids of his own. This doesn't look too good. Chances are there's more where this came from. Yeah, I think we need to take a look at the house. You don't think this is enough? No, nah, he can just deny everything, and the boy opened the letter. That's mail fraud and will most likely be dismissed as an evidence. At the very least, they can contest all of this actually being there for him. Go ahead and search the house. I'm fairly certain you'll find more. He won't be able to deny it then. Just don't make any accusations before we are absolutely certain. Yes, sir. Just follow my lead, son. Ma'am? Detective McGuffin, this is a surprise. Yeah, seems Lucius here might have lost his keys somewhere. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. You think he might have lost them here? You're welcome to look around if you like. Thank you, ma'am. We'll do that. I'm sure it won't take long and we'll be out of your hair. It's no bother at all. Make yourself at home. The boys are upstairs. Gary's riding and the kids are playing. I was just making some lunch. Should I set up plates for the two of you? That won't be necessary, ma'am. Thanks for your hospitality. Okay, now's our chance. Look for any hidden compartments or strength. Detective McGuffin. What are you doing here, Gary? Oh, I'm just trying to finish this book I've been working on. You know me. Do I? I'm not so sure. What do you mean? Of course you do. I'm your neighbor, Gary. Our kids went to school together. Yeah. But you never really know somebody, do you? Hmm. I guess not. Sometimes you find out things about someone that you never would have believed it of them. Is there something I can help you with, Jack? I'm kind of busy here. No, Gary. We're just seeing if you and the boys are all right here. Well, we're fine. Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to get back to my book. Sure, Gary. Just make sure you'll finish it on time. What's that supposed to mean?
Well, here we go. Just as I suspected. I better call Kimball to help me detain him. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law. What are you doing? He's just a writer. He hasn't done anything. Listen, ma'am, you should call your lawyer. There's a chance your sons also need counseling. The images we found indicate that there's been some molestation going on. It's looking like a long sentence for him. What are you talking about? We have reason to suspect that your husband is involved with some child pornography. What? Pornography? No, no, no. That's a lie. Here to meet Sister Marie. Can you believe this? So, right. I know. I think I had this shithead as my neighbor for all these years. I invited you to my barbecue, and I let my son play at your house, you worthless piece of shit. Capital punishment is the only fitting punishment I can think of. Yeah. It's a real shame they don't execute for this. A real shame. We've had our difficulties. Don't let that ruin our course. Oh yeah, that just came in. 
It would be 1999, sir. Give my regards to Mr. Ferguson, will you? Hi there, mate. What do you got there? Holy bugger! You brought me the filter, did you? What a lovely gesture that is, lad. How can I ever repay you for this? Listen, it's gonna take me a while to fix this, but I reckon I'll be done by nightfall. I can take you on a nightly fishing trip if it's okay with the detective, eh? You can take some fish home, for what it's worth, huh? Sorry, kid. I'm not allowed. right this time. What then, huh? What do you say then, huh? What do you think? No, mother, please. She didn't know what she was saying. No, mother, please. No, she mom. I, 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 I will not do it. She has done nothing wrong. That's a lie, and you know it. She's done plenty of wrong. But why, mom? Well, why, why, why does she have to die? Can't we let her go just, just this once? You know what happens when you let one go. They will come and take me away from you. Is that what you want? No, Mom. Then you know what to do. My mother isn't insane. She's perfectly fine.
she just gets a little, a little mad sometimes. I, I, I won't do it, Mom. If you want it done, then you'll have to do it yourself. Shut up, you whore!
mother? All these years, and this guy was killing people in my town. I've been thinking, after all this is done, maybe it's time for me to retire. It's starting to be obvious that I'm not very good at what I do anymore. So we got the four horsemen now. What's next? Ah, yes. People with white robes having naked games.
Ahoy there, matey. Glad you could finally grace us with your presence, young lad. You know, boy, there are actually sharks in these waters. The Gulf connects straight to the Atlantic, and there's lots of food for them on this side. So be careful not to tip over. Especially if you're bleeding, they can smell even a drop of blood from a quarter mile away. You're actually just the right size to mix up with a seal or something. <laughs> Don't worry, lad, the shark attacks are still quite rare here. I'm just messing with you. Ah, we better keep the anchor up. Don't want to scare them fishies away. Here's the rod. You take a bait from the bucket here, attach it to the line, and hope for the best. I'll be on the other rod there. Good job, boy. Just keep doing the same. That's not enough for a dinner, you know. Natural of this. Barely cut it. Keep up the good work, boy. Oh, what the hell you doing, boy? You can't be throwing carcasses in the water. It's gonna attract sharks there.
So here we go. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. And for the testimony which they held, they called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth? and avenge our blood. You have a car, right? Yeah, I have my truck. I'll gather everyone I can find and drive them to the church. That'll hold, right? Yeah, that thing's been there for a hundred years. Ain't no storm gonna pull it down tonight either. This must be part of the sixth seal. Listen to this. I watched as the land broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. It's happening, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely happening. So we need to do one more thing then. We need to spill a lot of blood. It says that the moon turns red with blood. That's where everyone will be in a storm like this. We better get there ourselves. The church is a perfect place for you to do this. We managed to turn this place into a sacrilegious mountain before. It should be no problem. Once you get in, I'll bar the door from the outside. That way no one will be able to get out. You can go crazy in there. Just paint the moon as red as you possibly can. All this murder! Are you really sure this is what you want to do? I've told you before, it's not going to bring your son back. What's going to happen here is, Lucifer is going to come up and bring forth the rapture. Lucius is not your son, Jack. It's the devil's son. You're going to be cast aside when he comes here. And you will have to spend eternity in purgatory, while your son and wife stay up there in heaven. I know the boy kind of reminds you of your son. But the only way for you to spend time with your real son is to fight back against this madness. You haven't done anything that terrible yet. God will forgive your sins if you let him. You just have to accept Jesus Christ as your savior and prove that you are worthy. You're like a father to that kid. He will listen to you. The devil's side of him will not be able to resist the temptation. That's your key. Together you can take down the Prince of Darkness. think I'd let you kill everyone without fighting back. The boy here is no ordinary boy, ladies and gentlemen. The boy is the son of the devil. He may not look like much, but believe me, he is all evil. Together with Jack, they've been quietly killing people and performing some sort of ritual at their backyard. I saw it all. At least seven bodies, all desecrated with evil markings made to look like the four horsemen and the martyrs of God. He killed his own family, and everyone who worked for them. 
This boy is not human. He is a demon and must be killed. Die! What the hell? What the hell? He can't get us all. Let's grab him! Can't get us all. Let's grab it. The seal melted off, so I figured you were done here. Where is everyone? Something is definitely happening out there. I think the portal might be forming already. Do we really want your father to rule this place? Is that really what we're looking for? Making a contest, killing his other children. I mean, what kind of a father is that? And what happens to me when he gets here, huh? I'm a sinner, and as far as I know, we both might end up as his prisoners. Don't you want to make your own rules? Don't you want to stop these tests and games and rule the place however you like? Maybe even want to have a kind heart somewhere. You've done everything he's asked, and you've got no rewards whatsoever. Without you, he wouldn't be able to do anything by himself. 
I say we go and find the dagger. Even if you feel like this is not what you want to do, it's still better to have the option to act in case something goes wrong. I think we've had enough ideas from Mr. McGuffin here. Don't you agree, my boy? You know, it was me who got them to take that road that night. <laughs> but you didn't know there was a back door to my kingdom. True. We are now opening something that will allow my full dominion to ravage the Earth. But in the meantime, my trusty old root still does the job quite well. Such a shame, really. You've done so well for so long. And just when I was about to take you with me to rule the whole place, I find you here, conniving against me with your friend the detective. <sighs> you leave me no choice but to punish you. I'm grounding you for a week. And when that week is over, so shall be the rapture. Sadly, I don't know what will happen to you while the whole place burns down with the mortal souls of the sinners. And frankly, I'm so hurt that I might not even care. Sorry about your friend, Mr. McGuffin. He had a nice soul. I liked him. Shame on Lucifer for doing this to you. Now he's out there and trying to fulfill the prophecy by himself. And you're here all alone with the rest of mankind. Left to die. Luckily, you can still change things around. right down there. Just pick that up and stab Lucifer with it. Then you'll stay as the ruler, and you can do whatever you like. No more rules, no more quests. Like what Mr. McGuffin said, you know that pet cemetery near your house. 
There's a mausoleum at the center of it. That's where the back door is. It's been said that only the wicked can use these back doors. And the blood inside your veins should hold the key. Do the right thing, Lucius. Don't let Lucifer get away with it.
souls. It has come to this. Breaks my heart. Such a shame. You were one of my most promising prospects. Eventually, they all turn on me. They all want the throne in the end. It all ends up the same. They end up destroyed when they raise their hand against me. And so shall end the story of Lucius too. What a waste. Goodbye, Lucius. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Gabriel! But how? There we go. I followed you down just in case. And a good thing I did. The Prince of Darkness, bringer of all evil, King of Babylon, has perished. Let's go. Together we'll enter the pearly gates. <laughs>